And welcome to your Go Market update for today, a Wednesday, the 10th of August. Fantastic to see you here. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst, Go Markets here to take you through what's happening in the markets today. Let's have a look at the news first of all. Of course, US equities overnight were weaker. We've got that big inflation number tonight, and so there was some pre data caution perhaps in the season remaining below key levels. Uh, we have also, of course, got the final few companies reporting in US earnings season there also could be some impact from them over the next couple of days. US futures are trading around about neutral at this stage. Asian indices are trading generally weaker but softer Chinese CPI has resulted in most of those pairing their losses to some degree. ASX is down about 0.1%. It was down around about 0.4% after open. European futures also looking slightly happier but still suggesting a slightly lower open. The US dollar index continues to trade near the top of the range and is likely to do so. FX markets are all pretty flat pre-inflation data. Gold is testing 1800, which it has done for the last couple of days and all has pulled back from testing that $100 level it broke through to the downside a couple of days ago. Copper's also paused at a key level. So you've seen a common theme here where the market is waiting more data. Bitcoin tested 24,000 key level to the upside yesterday, but it's dropped back to mid-range, trading around about 22,000 in Asian trading today. It is a busy earnings day than it has been for Monday and Tuesday. As I said, we've got soft inflation data out of China. We've got numbers coming out of Germany and, of course, the US inflation numbers tonight. They're all going to have market attention as the impact of hotter than expected data is likely to be poorly received. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts of interest. Uh, if we look at the AUD USD, you can see that bounce after that inflation data was released. Uh, we are moving back to a key level on the shorter term time frame at around about 69,700. 70 cents is the key level to the upside on the longer term time frame. So a move potentially of 30 pips or so could be the order of the day over the next few hours on the asx we are seeing some recovery what to take note of is i look at this broke through key level at 985 a couple of days ago was a bit soft yesterday but on the back of that chinese data if we just look at a short-term chart you can see we picked up a little bit needs to see some more momentum and we may get caution across all, all of the markets with every asset class until that data is released later trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now